Yeah, thanks, Commissioners, for letting me uh, speak in the beginning. Uh, I wish the Board of Selectmen could have meetings like this. Um, I know, I think a lot of you are probably here for one item on the agenda, specifically the flooding that's going on all throughout town due to drainage, tides, whatever the reason is. It's a serious problem that the Selectmen are well aware of. And I was meeting with uh, Chris and Jennifer of Public Works and I think it's very important, and Chris has already been in contact with DRA as to getting someone in here, some type of an outside engineer who can come in independently and look at the entire problem in its entirety, whether it's from drainage, whether it's from flooding, whatever it is. And uh, I'd have to talk to the town manager as far as the actual steps we need to take, but I would assume it would be something that you could petition a warrant article for for a town election and hopefully it can be something that can get past this march and we can uh, really work on getting something done. It's not something that's going to go away, but the problem is way past the town of Hampton. It's really a uh, state, the state needs to get involved and maybe even needs to be something nationally looked at. So I wanted to let you know that thank you for letting me speak right now. I know what you're going through. You know, I don't live down here, but I spend a lot of my time down here, and I see the problems, and they're very real. I live off one of it. I see the problems off of High Street. It's all over. A lot of this town is built on, you know, on marshland. So it's inevitable that something needs to be done, and I want you to know that I'm going to try to stay on top of it for all of you. All right? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Unless there's anything else that I would need to uh, Is there any get questions asked before she has to leave from anyone? Yeah. Yes. Okay, yeah. Is that we, we discussed it last season about having some sort of access to either cut through the parking lot or to have a walkway of some sort around that bend. It's dangerous. Yes, I, I agree with you, definitely. The lights were supposed to be put in, and I don't think they've done that. Yeah, I know. I all right. Yeah, well, we we're working with the fence company to try to, op to just have an opening there, and um, that that's something we were talking about actually today. Mm -hmm. So that should be happening very soon. Uh, we can't do sidewalks through that corner; it's too too dangerous right now. And plus, everybody on that street would lose half their half their front yard, whatever side they decided to put it on. So um, we will try to open the fence up in the in the summer months. And it'll be closed in the winter months. So. Yes. I noticed that the University of New did a study of flooding on some of the roads in Cheviot that was not in the paper. Would that be any kind of a thought for us where it wouldn't cost so much? Yeah, that's a good idea. I will. Uh, Definitely. Yeah, I will uh, let the uh, director of public works and town manager follow up on that for you. So. Yeah, I'd like to second the issue of this young lady here in front of me regarding the safety of walking around that bend. Uh, I don't know if anybody on the committee has actually done that. If you don't live there, there's about 75 cottages and plane back here. They all walk this way to get to the beach, to get to. So the only thing that the village district can do is we can open that fence so you have to cut it through. That is a town issue, and uh, we'll open the fence to make it a little safer. Uh, no, that's our fence. No, that's our fence. So we can open that fence. Yeah, and that's what we're going to do. Right. Guys, one hour, that's going to be open. And I'll tell you, to, to wait any longer because you're in season. Yeah, no, we're working on it. Extremely dangerous, believe me. Right. And unfortunately, the side, if you go the other way, there is a sidewalk, but this way, is, it, it's pretty dangerous. To, what do you mean the other side? To, no, you can, you'd have to go down uh, Island Path, I guess, to hit a sidewalk. Is that right? So it, you're working in the opposite direction. The other direction, so that's. To right. In fact, trying to walk to walk on the other side of that bend, mm. there's all kinds of overgrown shrubs. And I've seen people walk over there, right. and they have to go out into the street to walk around all these overgrown shrubs. Right. And no, I agree with you 100%. It's, it's really bad. Yeah. Is that town? Can you guys cut those shrubs, or is that...
Yeah, I can actually. I know. The, I actually am very familiar with the location. I ride my bicycle there almost every day, weather permitting, and I know how dangerous it is. And uh, yeah, I can uh, follow up on that for you. Great, thank you. All right. Anyone else? Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you so much. Yeah. Thanks. Take care.